Carol, at the finale, you said to Bethany, I'm sure we'll find her way back. But reading your to. reading your blogs, yes. it seems like things have yes. gotten worse. Yeah. Well, I just want to read really. something you said. You said, in Bethany's myopic world, she's the judge, jury, and executioner. Her narcissistic point of view doesn't permit yes. any dissenters. Yeah. She's incapable of having a conversation where she isn't in control of the entire narrative. Hers and everyone yes. else's, regardless of the truth. She lies about us over and over and over until even we sometimes believe it. Yes. Bethany should give a master class in gaslighting. <laughs> So, but what do you first of all, I would like to, to know what when you, you to, got your yeah. medical degree. What do you? What, Emma Bethany, you can't say that. You when did you get your medical degree? I didn't diagnose you. You're calling, you. calling me a drunk. You're calling this one you. a loser. This one a, an idiot. I'm asking I mean, you. I don't you need to know. We don't know what needs a medical degree. You just need two eyes. You are the one that said on television that I don't have a career. You don't have a career. Is this what you do? Is this what you call female empowerment, Bethany? Is that your brand is all about female you empowerment? You shamed me in the no, blog saying I you held said... you accountable for what you said in the television show about me not no, having a you career. Said, hey, and this is story. what I was doing I'm when you were doing B movies. You. Was That's that exactly shaming? That's exactly what that, No, it's B not shaming. It was the truth. When, when, I was, when you were working as an actress. That's all I've done is from B movies you were, to this show. No, oh, I said, oh, sorry, I said natural food chef. I said all of this stuff. I said no, you called me a success. caterer. You did not say well, a natural I thought it food was chef. A caterer. Okay, I was well, actually yeah. a natural food chef long right. before it existed okay. as a category okay. for people like your boyfriend. Right. So okay. yeah, well, so that's a take too. your resume so, okay. up that, to that, mine that, any day, and lady. I will bring and I will match my resume. Well, up let's to yours get yours into the current era, the current decade, and then we can Bethany, talk about people, it. Women have careers, right? Their whole lives, and then they they pivot, and then they have another. You brought it up, not me. Yes, but that you brought it up. Yeah, exactly. I'm not. I have no shame in my career. No, you brought it up on the show. You brought it up. No, no, she said she does. She said she had no career except for this show. Oh, she, oh. she does. She, Good way. That's female sad. empowerment. If you, she that's female she's empowerment. A, you can have it. You and your brand. Writer. Oh it's dashing God. somebody every week oh on a blog God. is female empowerment. That's every week, holding you accountable for the things you said about me on the show. And I will read every no, single you blog that I stand bashed me. Every bashed single, me every day. Because you bashed me on the show. I did not bash. Tell me how I bashed you on I the show. I just read the whole list. You bashed each other on the show. You bashed each other on the show. We bash each other on the show. I didn't bash her on the show. I didn't bash her on the show. Are you kidding me? Carol did not bash her. afraid of her, too? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm afraid of her. I would like to know, did all of you suspect that she was drinking well, she was, again? Yeah, she, she was at the beacon. I didn't really say anything. I was surprised it didn't happen on page six. Luann was very out of it, so much so she put her head back in my girlfriend's lap between her legs, kicked her legs up, and the beacon had to escort her out. That was like three months ago. She was at Chris Birch's party recently. She was asked to leave. And Bethy, I think you knew she was drinking, too. You knew. I, I, I did. Did she come to this decision herself? Was there an intervention? Do you know? I mean, I would say that she did not come to this decision entirely on her own. There were a few people there, and it was the right thing to do. It was a, it was a very, very emotional and That's crazy very sad. weekend. It's very sad. It was a very and I don't know if anyone here can answer this. If, if you guys had heard for a few months that, that she had fallen off the wagon or that she had introduced drinking back into her life, what do you think happened? Because just thinking about that scene with the two of you when you're having coffee, and she was so clear with her meetings, yeah. and I think when she you went she to the church. I did spend a lot of sober time with Luann because we did several cabarets together sober. She was not drinking in the green room. Um, I don't know if she was drinking when you were there, Andy, because she wasn't drinking when I was at the cabaret. She cab seemed right. off when I was there. I think she was hiding it well. Well, I give her a lot of credit. She was doing really, really well. I, I thought think she going was to rehab too. was a good yeah. move, and she'll get back on track. Days. I was struck by uh, the vulnerable conversation that you and Lou had in the car when you left uh, Bobby Zarin's funeral. You've talked a lot about how much more genuine Lou seems post-rehab. You did, too. Yeah, you all did. Yeah. Well, what did you see that was different? She really wants to be loved. She really, she's so big and so like, you know, her voice, so you think that she's so tough. She's really kind of like a big baby. And I didn't realize it. You would know better. She's yeah, she like a is. big, like, I, I, I feel for her because it's like, it's I think it's her sad. happiest time is when she was with the Counts and she had a family and she, when they were I happy. I agree with you. I believe and you. And that, I think that's when that the whole. beginning unraveled, when she was living out in the Hamptons by herself and he was doing all of his Yeah, baloney. And, 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 and I, I think wow. that she is really like a big, sweet, like, like Lost little kid that needs love. So mm -hmm. I would say all of it together has been a recipe for a relapse. Disaster. When the season started and Luann's divorce was still fresh, 
She was very dismissive of you all last season and called you jealous bitches. Did she come into the season with her tail between her legs? Both. Would you like, say? It's fine. 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 Yeah, she just she wouldn't talk about it. She came and moved on about it. And she was moved. She, she wanted to deal with be where she was in her head. She wanted us all to be yeah. like, okay, we cleaned that mess up, and now under. yeah, yeah. Right. that's the same thing. That's what we're talking about. But that's what she was surprising to hear her. Say to you in that moment, you were right. I know, mm -hmm. I know. That was big. I know. She was ashamed. I know. I think that was also a turning point in her, like, trusting me on some level oh, with yeah. judgment. Well, I told her in Mexico. I mean, now I can bring it up because of everything. Mm -hmm. But in Mexico, I told her things that I knew for a fact about Tom. And she's like, oh my God, oh my God, if Noel knew, don't tell anybody. Because if Noel, no. he'd like, he'd die. And I go, I'm not going to tell anybody, but you need to know this and deal with it. And you figure told her out. this off camera. Yeah. Yeah. In Mexico before she fell. Maybe that's why she fell. <laughs> well, she had also had 18 yeah. Why? Because um, yeah, she heard from things Ramona. Right. Yeah. Really, so yeah. <laughs> it, did she it, have a lot of tequila that night because of what you had told her? I think her, so. You think? It was that it didn't night? didn't help. Ramona, it was that night? Yeah. Why would she tell people her husband was abusive? Right. Why would, exactly. That's a very strong word. That's a very I strong, strong word. I never word. said that, That's a ever. very strong word. I think it's all a big, it huge big, misunderstanding. Yeah. Yeah. I think it needs to be go away. I think it's a game of telephone. But who originated the word abuse? That's Emily's the one that brought it up. She told me that about her, and I'm like, I don't think Shannon never. said that. Was there something like Shannon said that she was like worried about me or like my yeah. husband was abusive or something? Yes, Shannon was saying that, you know, she was worried for you, that David's a lot like him. Hey, you want to go it's talk? Then you, yeah, you, let's go. because you're my friend and I would love to talk to you Then let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go aggressively. I feel like right now. No, I just feel like it's such a misunderstanding. I, I, Down I, I, with I, this. Who cares? Tamara, you're the one that brought Emily up at Tanner's, and yet I'm getting chastised because oh, I said one. Oh, don't even blame it on me, yeah, Shannon Bedore. I'm not what you said. Oh, I know I did. Okay, everybody what, said something. No, I never said No, you know what? It's Vicky's fault. I just want to shout Sheila. I didn't say your marriage is uh, because Tamara, she reminds me of David. Tamara, I am not accusing you of anything. You just said. You just did. Yeah, you just did. You just did. Yep, you just, just did. did. I, I don't have it in me to chuck you under or say anything. And if there was like slight verbiage or language, like I don't even know anymore. Like this is ridiculous to me. It is. Look at me in the eyes. I promise you. I try to only have the other side of it. You know what I mean? Like that. Like this situation is worse on you than me because because it's not to do with my family. You know. So like I'm willing I to know, take that. I know because your you. husband's not around, but mine is. So then he gets exposed to things. I, I, I'm just saying. All right. Well, All right, are you going to walk away? I am going to walk away because Why? that's really that's really foul. I Don't see. do it. Don't do what? Don't do it. Don't do what? It's it's foul. It's low. What's upsetting to me is I got enough shit in my life right now, and they're f***ing drawing me into their drama. Because you made a I comment. Don't Listen, she's in the bottom line. She's protecting her husband. Of course. Her like, that's her husband. Yeah. Of course. When the topic was brought up, I made my comment. I own it. And I said later on, I shouldn't be projecting my marriage onto her. I don't want to get when involved in any of their stuff. When somebody talks about your husband, it's f***ing hurtful. I said, I'm Why sorry. Why would you ever say it was bashing an adopted baby? He I'm just upset what she just kids. said. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, what you just said, that was 100% what I did not say. I said Cam should not bash Brandy about adopting a baby. We're not going to bash her about adopting a baby. Why would I ever say I would bash her over adopting a baby, don't, Stephanie? Don't, don't. Cameron heard that she was bashing a baby. You should not bash a baby. And now she wants to live in her little land of being mad and upset and feeling the victim. And it's insane. I would never say that, Stephanie. Never in a million years. So ridiculous. Never. To be in my home and accuse me of bashing an adopted baby. Don't ever put words in my mouth. Brandy, this is ridiculous. Cameron's so pissed at me. Oh I cannot God. say anything right with that girl. I'm just not going to say anything ever again. But I feel like I understand why Brandy didn't tell her either. Because it turned out. Yeah, I do. Hey. Okay. I feel like everyone has their own thing. Like, yeah. she has that right to not say of anything. Of course she does. I don't think anybody's right or wrong. I think people have their feelings hurt right now. Yeah, I do. That's what I, I do. do. Everything happened so fast with Bruin that I think I'm just very emotional. And then on top of it, I don't know anybody an explanation for what my family and I do. I don't owe anybody anything. And besides, I didn't think that Cameron and I were that close. 
I'm right gonna go check on them. her. Okay. Yeah, you're okay. Girl, it's fine. I love you. I'll thank you. She just said I was bashing an adopted baby. Okay, like, so that's nice. insane. I don't get how, like, a baby even is an issue. It's insane. I just don't understand why Stephanie just put words in my mouth saying, I'm bashing an adopted baby. I was talking uh, about Brandy's behavior. Right. Has because nothing to do you. with the baby. My yeah, issue no. is not about Brandy. It's about Stephanie problem. right now. I'm not going to put up a stupid sh Like, I just feel like we should not be fighting over a baby. OK, first of all, this is your house. And as a classy woman, you should want people in your house to feel comfortable and safe. Do you want to go home? Yeah. I wish I would have said the right words. I don't take back my thoughts, and I'm not going to sit around like her asshole and tell her how sorry I am all night. It's not going to happen. I have better things to do, like get the f out of this house. To be honest, I don't want her in my house right now. That's how it is. Okay. What reveals most about a person's sexual skill? How they dance, dress, or kiss? I would say. Who wants to kiss me? Kiss. I'll kiss you. Cameron, kiss me. No, thank you. Give me no. a kiss. No! Wait, what Cameron. do you mean when you said it? Oh, I don't you know. should what kiss me. No, absolutely not. not. A in hell. Cameron has the best lips. That was so sweet, Brandy. Thank you. I'm trying, I'm trying to get you to make out with Don't hold on too long. No. Brandy's look across the table, it's like this one eye wink she's doing. I'm like, Am I supposed to, like, get excited about that face? Cam, Okay. hit it, okay. sister. What is the best way to get a cute stranger's attention? Make out with Cameron. <laughs> oh, Cameron. Never in a million Cameron. years. I've only been with one person my entire life. You could be number two. <laughs> oh, my god, no thank you. I thought, I thought like, you would have, like, number 50 or something. I, I didn't know what your jokes is. and stuff. I didn't know. I've been with one person. Yes. Right. Okay. I know, but that's why I'm like, my amazing. vagina is super vagina. clean. You can be with a lot of people and still have a that's clean vagina. She's going to go over and attack Cameron. Okay. Cameron. Cameron. Okay. Cameron. Cameron. She's coming in. Cameron. <laughs> I know you don't like me. Yeah. Your face is not good right now. And I think yeah. there's a lot of people that don't like me because they don't know me. Right. And well, it's because you chased me down the beach with a giant chocolate dildo. No. You no, wanted Brandy. to be pink? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't participate pink. in this. <laughs> like, a level pink. that I don't do. That is, do not touch me with that, Brandy. That is so disgusting. <laughs> I just <laughs> met you. I know. And yeah, it's you like so amazing. And you know what I love you? Oh, my God. Let's make out. Like, oh my god. I say you make up with me. Oh, oh, no. make, out. Make, make up with me. Make up with you. Yes. Make up to make up. I feel like you should make out to make up. Don't think that's gonna happen. The make out? No, the make up. Oh, the make out. 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 Oh